At the end of 1978, almost at the same time that Deng Xiaoping was speaking, in this hut of Xiaogang village, 18 villagers added their thumbprints to an agreement known as the All-Round Contract System. Yan Hong Chang was the deputy director of the Xiaogang production team who drew up the simple agreement that would come to have such great historical significance. Even today, he still remembers its every single word. One year later, Xiaogang village reaped a bumper harvest. The Xiaogang production team, which had been relying on state relief for more than 20 years, not only met its government quota for the first time, the barns of every household were filled with grain. Deng Xiaoping hailed China's rural reform as a great creation of the nation's peasants. After the third plenary session of the 11th CPC Central Committee, reform of China's urban economic system was gradually pushed through nationwide, with expanded decision-making powers for enterprises as a key element. The central government resolved to support the development of private enterprises as well as China's urban collective economy. Self-employment also became legal. Alongside the process of reform, major breakthroughs were also made in opening China to the outside world. In March, the State Council approved the renaming of Bao'an County in Guangdong Province as Shenzhen City. After listening to Xi Zhongshun's report, Deng Xiaoping said, the central government doesn't have the funds for you, but it can provide policy support so that Guangdong is able to fight its own way to success. The 15th meeting of the Standing Committee of the 5th National People's Congress approved the establishment of special economic zones in Shenzhen, Zhuhai and Shantou in Guangdong, and Xiamen in Fujian. The new possibilities created by economic reform pushed people to think in hitherto impossible ways. Socialism with Chinese characteristics has been the answer to the key question of what path China should follow since its reform and opening up started. It has become the great banner guiding reform, opening up and socialist modernization in the new era. On October 1, 1984, a grand military parade was staged at Tiananmen Square to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. Joining the procession, students from Peking University held high a banner that read, Hello Xiaoping, expressing their respect and love for the great leader who had mapped the course of China's reform and opening up.